there's a trailer that requires my attention. So for those of you that didn't know, Cygames um, official YouTube channel has dropped a gameplay trailer for Beatrix 5 days ago. So let's check this trailer out and see um, what does Beatrix have in store. And hopefully by the end of this trailer, we have some. I'm just I'm just curious who is the next um, trailer that will be available in Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. Anyhow, let's just jump way right into Beatrix's gameplay trailer. And may I remind you, for those of you guys who didn't know, I am just a casual when it comes to fighting games. So, but I do know about a wee bit of the lore of the the Grand Blue Fantasy world because I used to play the mobile um, Grand Blue Fantasy years ago still when it comes to fighting games i'm just a casual so that just a heads up anyhow without further ado let's check out beatrix gameplay trailer in good quality okay let's go Oh, it's Jeffy's voice. That's Hirano san. Oh, but he's kind of wish she's, she's playable in Relink, though. Kind of wish she's playable in Relink, to be real. Okay. That Lindo. Oh, she's fighting against um. Oh. I believe that's her. That's her. Level one, I mean. It's been a while since I uh, since since the last time I be, I've been into fighting games. Oh, that's her out. Is there some? Was that? Hold on. Was there something like uh uh? I forgot. I forgot what's the name of the the, the of the the limit break that squad from Final Fantasy. It whoa. <laughs> she over she overused all that energy and she ended up having all her most of her clothes shattered 90 percent just like in the i mean just just like what happened in the mobile game oh my gosh uh. Kind of unfortunate that we didn't get more um more info on who will be the next playable character in uh, Grand Blue versus Rising though. I but I have a feeling that we might get the, uh they might announce it in Evo Vegas, which I believe is sometime around was it July or August. I'm not. I forgot the date. I forgot the date. But I'm pretty sure they will. I have a feeling that they might announce a new character. Uh, during Evo Vegas, and as a matter of fact, right, um, they also release a Beatrix character guide. So I'll be checking. In, I will definitely check this one later on. But you know what? Let's watch the trailer one more time. But I might be pausing at certain points. Let me just let's check this one. I believe Embraske is the name of a weapon. Okay. Okay. 
I might be wrong, but this is either her taunt or her intro before she enters into the battle. It could it could either be one of these two. Yes, over here she's standing against Avatar Belial. Adversity? Hold on, hold on. Just wait. Hold on, hold on. Adversity. She's defending. Okay. Did she rewind? Did she travel back in time or what? Adversity because once again it's been a while since the last time I played um, the mobile Gremble fantasy so I'm I'm I am so out of loop uh, of um, what uh, Beatrix um, skills skill set so comment down below on what how what this adversity does because I'm so it's been eight once again I have to highlight it's been ages since the um, the last time I laid my hands on the mobile Grand Blue Fantasy game. I believe this is her level one. Bring them combos. And I believe this is her Ogi. Yeah, that 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 move where hold on. Yeah, that 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 move. This move by right, her level three, right? It really reminds me of ah. I just remembered blasting zone. It kind of reminds me of Blasting Zone um Qual from Final Fantasy VIII's um Blasting Zone. That's uh, that's what I remembered. Where But be what does Bea does right? She Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. She fully charges her sword straight up and then smashes it down onto the enemy. That's what Blasting Zone does. Oh, she, yeah, she's DLC. Um, coming May 20... That's tomorrow! That's tomorrow! FYI, this video is being recorded on May 22nd... <laughs> By the way, so tomorrow? Hmm. <laughs> should I or shouldn't I? But then again, once again, I have to highlight I'm just a casual when it comes to fighting games. But at the same time, Bears, I'll, I'll be real. She, she's kind of hot. She's kind of hot, but. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Available now, free edition also available, yeah. It's kind <laughs> Bea, you really have overdone it after you used your level 3. <laughs> I won't be surprised that once she uses that, 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 that level 3, and then she successfully KO's that opponent, this will be the the end screen. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Alright, alright, right. Yeah. Yeah. I should really consider checking out Rising someday. Alright, right, right. You know what? Let's let's jump right into her her character guide if you guys are thinking mine.
Hold on, is he in? Please tell me he's in 4K. Ah, dang it! It's a, it's a 1080p. Sheesh. This next one could be a suicide mission. But you survived worse. Welcome back to the field, Beatrix. You are a society operative with a knack for finding trouble and then turning it to your advantage. All right. Draw power from the inbreast sword and kick any sorry ass that gets in your way. Language. Delta clock. Oh, delta clock. Let's see where how it is. Delta clock is permanently active when your life is down to thirty percent. And when active. Landing heavy skills will slow your target temporarily. Oh, alright. This gives you access to normally impossible combo routes. <laughs> Easier than shooting fish in a barrel. But don't forget, Agent. Your Delta Clock has a recharge timer. Get oh, okay. While on cooldown. Another thing. Landing nothing is forever also fires up the Delta Clock. <sighs> Guess we better cover that next. Okay. Nothing is forever. Nothing is forever. Unique action. Your unique action is a painful command grab. Okay. You'll take damage and maybe give yourself a headache, but it activates Delta Clock when you land. Wait. It, no matter your rewind. Control. Rewind. 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 I just realized. While on cooldown. Oops, I did too fast. Nothing is forever. Nothing is forever. A unique action your is. Unique action so her command grab is basically she grabs an opponent head buzz them and if you look at the light bar right normally command grab what command grab does from my understanding is it damages um opponent it only damages an opponent but for beatrix's case not only she damages her opponent, but it damages herself as well. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. <laughs> the painful command grab. You'll take damage and maybe. Yeah, again, rewind. Keep an eye on Beatrix's um, HP bar. When she lands that HP, um, the command grab, land that his butt, bam. She loses her HP as well. Maybe give yourself a headache, but it activates Delta Clock when you land it, no matter your current health. Oh, oh okay. Unlike regular throws, there's no breaking out of this technique, so use it to ruin a block happy foe's day. It's one of your many tools to crush their defenses and take the initiative. Star Basically, Chaser. landing a command grab activates Delta Clock, okay? Star Chaser fires a projectile with a slash of your sword. Oh, such a is practically a projectile. You always have to fight in their face. Medium features a brief delay before firing. Oh, there's variation. It's to your advantage by following the energy wave. So, so Star Chaser has two variation. Just one is a fast one, and this one is a, a slow wars. one. Heavy launch is a fast multi-hit projectile. Oh, there's a different version. You retain advantage on block. Use it to maintain pressure or extend a corner combo. If Delta Clock is active, use the slowdown to chain it into a mid-screen combo instead. Alright. Ultimate features the farthest reach, traveling all the way to the Oh! Corner. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. ...to a mid-screen combo instead. Oh, okay. Ultimate fe features the furthest reach, but it uses up the... Is uh, it uses up the the Ogi bar if you if you notice. I mean, wait, wait, let me just uh, rewind step by step. But okay, as you can see, the Ogi bar is at hundred percent. But when she uses the the Star Chaser, which has the ultimate feature, it uses up half or uh, half of the the Ogi bar. Ultimate features the farthest reach, right. traveling all the way to the corner. It knocks down on hit giving you a window to close the distance. That's right. Fight on your own terms. Imbrask Sword. Imbrask Sword. Imbrask Sword is an upward slash. Oh, DP. Dragon Punch. Life lacks invincibility, but landing a hit at the correct height could lead to a follow-up. So is, is something like a DP, slower, I guess. But makes up for it with invincibility. Yeah, it is DP. Imbrask Sword is literally DP. 
Heavy is invincible and faster than medium. And if Delta Clock is active, you can chase this anti-air maneuver with a combo. Oh, it's not only is a DP, it's an anti-air move as well. Ultimate is invincible and ends with a knockdown. Okay. Nothing else says back off quite like this little number. Turn those tables, Agent. Interesting. Thunderbird. And Thun okay, so what is how does Thunderbird work? Thunderbird is a swift leap and dive maneuver. Startup is quick, and it pushes your target back. Use it as a combo ender. Oh, okay. Medium doesn't have a hitbox during the leap, but it jumps higher than light. Okay. Predict your target's pokes or projectiles. Leap over their flimsy assault and close in for the kill. My, okay, so my question is that when she activates Thunderbird, does she automatically jumps or we have to jump manually? Even if they manage to block it, you'll still hold the advantage. Heavy leaps high and advances even farther. Or Better yet, you need them in the face on the way up, making this move a nasty combo extender, especially in the corner. Interesting. And as always, our good friend Delta Clock gives you a deadly follow-up option from mid-screen. Ultimate travels far and comes loaded with damage. Oh. It's great for ending big combos or making a bold approach. Doesn't matter if it gets blocked, you'll still retain advantage. Right. Riding, Riding free. free. Riding free is a crouching lunge. Oh, okay. It hits low, letting you gain ground while slinking in for the kill. While lunging, your hurt box lowers, so weave under their pokes for a counter assault of your own. Riding free also comes with a special follow up. Just press R1. If you mm -hmm. land the initial hit, be sure to maximize your damage with the follow up. Oh, if we hit, if we hit, once you hit riding free and then you hit riding free again, it uh, counter, does follow up. You can even convert it into a combo. Okay. It can't be punished on block, which means this is your check to get in for free. So cash it. Finally, like light, medium also comes with a follow up. Heavy is a multi-hitting lunge. Oh, okay. Its follow-up attack leads to a wall bounce. Corner carry goes a long way toward optimizing your damage, so follow suit. Okay. But when Delta Clock is active, you can extend your combo from mid-screen. No corner necessary. Right. Ultimate comes out fast and travels far, but the follow-up attack is automatic and mandatory. You'll be crouching for the entire length of the lunge, making this maneuver one of your strongest Whoa, okay. On hit, you'll drive them forward, which leads to a combo if you can get them all the way to the corner. So riding free, um... Immor hold on, hold on. So long story short, okay, so riding free, uh, special, right? Automatic and mandatory. You'll be crouching riding for the entire length of the lunge. Yeah. Basically, she lunges forward to, to the opponent. But hold on. He uses like what? 50? Yeah, he uses 50 as well. Making this maneuver one of your strongest infiltration options. On hit, you'll drive them forward, which leads to a combo if you can get them all the way to the corner. Immortal Assault. Immortal Assault. Immortal Assault oh, is the okay. flourish of the Embrask Sword. Damage is higher when you land the initial hit, so use it as a reversal or Oh no, this is a uh, level order. 1. This is something Save like a uh, level unleashed. 1. Savior Unleashed is your most lethal technique. Invincible on startup, summon all of your death defying oh, minds. This is a uh, level 3. Call you Undying Blue. It's a great reversal, and an even better way to finish a combo, along with the lives of any unsuspecting assailants. So what have we learned, Agent? You've got a skill that takes the high ground, and one that takes the low, giving you rushdown options to open them up from any angle. Then, once you're in, secure the perimeter by activating your Delta Clock and slowing your target, assuring a swift victory. Permission to get reckless. Granted. Yeah. This is a good video. 
this is a good video for any newcomers that really uh, want to check out um, Rainbow Rising. They could they can check out this video and then they can try out the game for free. As a matter of fact, I mean I kid you not, the, the game is because the game is available for free. But for my understand, right, the the free edition we have um uh, there are they have three characters plus one permanent character which is grand and then the other three more are rotating characters from what i understand so i hope that the three rotating characters they have the dlc characters as well uh, such as likes of um bea bane and i believe lucius was is a dlc uh, character as well right i might be wrong I'm just waiting for the day that Sandy is uh, <laughs> announced as a, very, a playable character in Grand Blue Rising. And as a matter of fact, right, I kind of wish that Bea will be available as a playable character in Grand Blue Relink. But from what I heard, right, after um, Sandy, the Sandy's update, which is version 1.1.3 or 1.3. We won't be getting any more updates, so it's kind of like, uh, I'm kind of bummed that um, we won't be getting any more updates. But I really hope that we will be getting more playable characters in Rainbow Railing something within in the future. Fingers crossed.